Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 11 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadaybiya Palace a number of senior officials, members of the Legislative Authority, intellectuals, journalists and media personnel, as well as a number of citizens. His Royal Highness discussed with the guests a number of local affair topics. The Prime Minister affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has a significant role in achieving developments in Bahrain, adding that the achievements made under the leadership of His Majesty the King and as a result of the government's efforts and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa represent a success story of a country that achieved the highest levels of development and progress. His Royal Highness stated that the Bahraini people during all the stages the country has undergone have maintained the security and stability of the kingdom and contributed to its development march. He reiterated the importance of the positive of utilization of social media websites and the avoidance of involvement in all that creates division in the community. His Royal Highness stressed that preserving the kingdom's achievements is a cohesive responsibility, recalling Bahrain's achievements in various fields. He asserted that these successes are a translation of the efforts of successive generations of Bahraini people who worked hard to achieve progress for their country. The Prime Minister also discussed his visit to Al Naim, where he identified the needs of his citizens and the service projects the area requires. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the role of the Legislative Authority in supporting developmental efforts in the Kingdom, affirming that the cooperation between the Executive and Legislative Authorities contributed to serving the country and achieving the aspirations of its citizens. He hailed the civilized manner in which the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries elections were organized, which embodies the affiliates' recognition of the Chamber's importance and its effect on various development stages in the Kingdom. He wished the Chamber and its new Board of Directors success.
إذا وعد أوفى وإذا قال صدق زياراتكم لجميع أبنائكم في مدن وقرى البحرين زيارات مشهود لها قد يعجز اللسان عن الشكر ولكن القلب يشعر قد يعجز اللسان عن عن الشكر لكن القلوب تشعر بصدق هذه الزيارات ويشعر بها ألق النهار رسالة أحملها لكم يا صاحب السمو من أبنائكم في العاصمة ومن أهل النعيم خاصة على زيارتكم الميمونة والتي أسعدتم بها قلوب جميع أهل النعيم قبل أسبوعين كنت هنا في هذا الموقف المشرف وفي هذا القصر المبارك بكم طرحنا أمنيات وتمنيات وكنا نعرف أن خليفة بن سلمان لا تمر عليه الكلمات مرور الكرام ولا تعبر عليه الأمنيات عبور الكرام قالها ففعل قال سأنزل إلى الميدان فنزل هي كلمة شكر أنقلها لكم بارك الله فيك وأمنية أخرى كذلك بأن تشرفنا بزيارة مباركة تليق بخليفة بن سلمان His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadibiyya Palace Ali, Dr. Rashid and Salim, the sons of Muhammad bin Iftis bin Salim Al Hajri, to greet His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of enhancing communication and community cohesion and maintaining the values of the Bahraini society. His Royal Highness hailed the role of Bahraini tribes and families and their honoring stances, which are a model of patriotism to the homeland. He recalled with pride their contributions in various fields for the development of the country. The Prime Minister praised the honorable family model the Al-Hajri family sets and their contributions in building and developing society. For their part, the sons of Muhammad Al-Hajri expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to reinforce communication with all components of society and wish them abundant health and success. في دارنا البحرين وللدار والدار مهما كان نبيع العمر والروح كله ونفديها البارحة يا مير ممسيت سهران مظليل كله وأنا رتب معانيها أسوق النوادر والجزائر مع القيفان للي ترى بالوطن بالعز بانيها خليفة كما غيث تنزل من الرحمن خليفة كما غيث تنزل من الرحمن رئيس وزارانا بفكرة يداريها أبو علي الشهم للأمن عنوان درع الوطن من كل منه يعاديها أبو علي الشهم للأمن عنوان درع الوطن من كل منه يعاديها مواقفك بينا على مرة الأزمان أمور واجد والله إنا ما نحصيها هل الخير والطيب تجزى بالإحسان وهل الشر والعدوان تعرف خوافيها واختامها يا الله يا علي الشهم إنك تحفظ الدار وتعز من فيه سلامة
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and for his Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued instructions approving the general plan for the first phase of the waterfront between Manoma and Dibharag, which will include tracks for walking, running and cycling, green spaces, tourist and entertainment facilities, as well as restaurants and services. This project comes within the framework of the committee's follow-up of sustainable urban development and urban planning as a pivotal component that accommodates the requirements of citizens at the service level within the comprehensive development march of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness directed to begin working on the detailed plans for the first stage of the waterfront, which runs between Ichfer and King Faisal Kurnish. The project is one of the priorities of the committee as one of the means of enhancing urban balance by creating more public spaces for citizens and residents. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the achievements of the Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team in international competitions. His Highness Sheikh Nasr delivered the remarks on the occasion of the Bahrain Merida rider Vincenzo Nibali's win in the 109th edition of the Milan San Remo. His Highness stated that the achievements of the team reflect the plan set for the team at the administrative and technical levels to win titles in record timing. He also praised the efforts of the riders to establish a strong team that competes on the international level, highlighting their achievement in winning the 109th Milan San Remo, which is considered one of the toughest cycling races. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, presided over the council's meeting today in which it approved the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee's recommendation on rejecting a draft law amending Article 11 of Decree Bylaw 16 of 2002 on the Office of Financial and Administrative Control. The council also approved the Youth Affairs Committee's recommendation on a proposal on sports professionalism. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities announced today that Saudi Arabia will be the guest of honor at the Bahrain International Book Fair 2018. The BACA said the book fair, which will be held on March 18th to April 7th, is part of Bahrain's third Spring of Culture Festival. In a press conference, the BCAA president, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, so that the Bahrain Book Fair, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, takes place for the first time in Muharraq, celebrating the capsule of Islamic culture for the year 2018. Sheikh Hamay also noted that the books, publications and events held in the fair are centered on Muharraq, the capsule of Islamic culture 2018. The book fair that features many cultural events has gained a good reputation internationally throughout the past years in harmony with the atmospheres of openness and freedom established in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The book fair encourages multitudes of visitors to discover the universal value of books and publications presented by 400 Arab and international publishing houses. The fair also features parallel cultural events including poetry, music, literature and art criticism sessions. The International Conference for Entrepreneurship and Innovation kicked off at Art Rotana Hotel in Amwaj Islands under the patronage of the Chief Executive Officer of Injaz Bahrain, Sheikh Hassla bint Khalifa Al Khalifa. The event is co-organized by the Kingdom University, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization and the Arab Regional Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment Trading with a strategic partnership by Temkin and Injaz Bahrain. Sheikh Hasla hailed the university's initiative in launching the conference, which reflects Bahrain's efforts to achieve the economic vision of 2030. She also affirmed Bahrain's ability to provide a favorable climate for the entrepreneurs around the world. President of the Kingdom University, Professor Dr. Mohamed J. Tero, said entrepreneurship and innovation had played over the past years a key role in economic development. He pointed out cooperation between the higher education establishments and the public and private parties to create an ideal environment to back entrepreneurship and innovation and promote the higher education strategy in this respect. 
The conference highlighted the role of universities and schools in tapping on creativity and innovation, stressing the importance of business incubators and exchanging experiences in this regard.